So now that we've installed the Flutter SDK, we're going to skip ahead and we're going to set up first for Android. And it's going to become really clear a little bit later on why we're doing it in this order. Now, the first thing you need to do is to install Android Studio. So head over to this link and you can click on this button, which will automatically recognize the operating system you're running and it will automatically start downloading Android Studio. Now, once that's done, then launch Android Studio and go through the setup wizard. Now, this is going to install the latest Android SDK, the Android SDK platform tools, and also build tools, which are required by Flutter when developing for Android. So simply go through the wizard and click yes to basically everything and keep all of the default settings. And once you're done, we're going to go ahead and add the Flutter and Dart plugins to our Android Studio. Now, if you're looking at the welcome screen, you can access the properties by going to configure and clicking on preferences. Now, if you've already got Android Studio open, then you can simply click on Android Studio and you should have access to preferences as well. Now here, we're going to go to the plugins tab and you're going to go to browse repositories to look for the Flutter plugin. So we're gonna type in Flutter in here and the one which just says Flutter with a capital F, that's the one that you need. And you're going to download it and install it onto your Android Studio. Now you're gonna click accept um, to install third-party plugins. And you're also going to click yes when it asks you whether if you want to install Dart alongside Flutter. We'll need Dart and we'll need Flutter. So we're gonna click yes as well. Now, once it's done, you're going to click on this button to restart Android Studio and click OK to close down the preferences pane. So now it should ask you whether if you want to restart now or restart later, we're going to restart now. And once Android Studio loads up again, then we should be ready to go to create Flutter apps. So you'll notice that after that step, the major difference is that we now have a new option. Instead of just starting a new Android Studio project, we get to create new Flutter projects as well, straight from the welcome screen. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this and select a Flutter application as what we wanna build, click next, and then we're going to name the app simply just testing underscore app and make sure that you've got the Flutter SDK path specified in here. This is how Android Studio is gonna be able to find the Flutter package. Now, Android Studio is clever enough to find this automatically, but if it's blank, then be sure just to click on the three dots here and locate this Flutter folder for it. Now, I'm gonna leave that well alone because that's the right path. Now, the project location is where this current project is going to be saved to. And by default, it goes to Android Studio Project. It doesn't really matter where you save it at the moment because we're going to be deleting this app very shortly. But once you're done with this screen, let's head to the next screen and we're going to leave everything as it is and just click finish. Now, Android Studio is going to create a demo Flutter project, which the Flutter team created. It's a really simple counter app and it just has a single button which increases a counter. So here's our Dart code and here are all the files that make up our Flutter app. Now, if you've gotten to the screen, then you're pretty much ready to move on to the next step where we're going to set up an Android emulator to be able to run this app on Android. So for all of that and more, I'll see you on the next lesson.